Hello world, Stephen Michael Zach here, and first off, I want to welcome you all back. We went on a break in December. I hope you had a great holiday season and you're having a fantastic new year. But let's jump right into the first product that I am very excited about looking at today, and that is the Godox S30. Now, this thing I am absolutely in love with, enamored with it. I love it. It will cost you 200 and. 50 bucks, $249.99. Uh, and let's just jump right in and see what comes inside the box. Inside the box, you get the light itself, a pair of metal, fantastic barn doors, an AC power cord connector with a very, very long power cord, a special adjustment wrench so you can tighten up the yoke or loosen up the yoke to your liking. It also comes with two D-tap cables. One is short, one is long. You're also gonna get a Power plug to USB, and yes, you can power this thing off a USB bank, which is fantastic. Then it comes with a nice bag to hold all the accoutrement, and inside you're going to find the Sony NPF battery plate, which connects via DTAP. Now, power options with this thing are kind of incredible. Now, first off, you have a USB to power, which you can simply kind of plug in there, and you can plug this into here like so and we can turn this on, and boom goes the dynamite. This thing is working off a power box. You could also get a little power bank providing that it has uh, the proper amount of wattage to run this thing, uh, but yes, you can definitely run this off a USB, which is very, very cool. You also get your choice of D-tap cables. You get a short one for short range, and then you get this fairly long one, which is pretty fantastic, but Again, all you have to do is plug this in, plug it right into one of the DTAP ports here, like so. And again, boom, goes the dynamite. This thing turns on. You're powering this off a V-mount battery. Now, there are little clips that you can get uh, that you can screw into here and then lock in your V-mount battery. I'll leave that in the notes below. But you can simply just have a V-mount battery like this. Uh, I think Godox might sell one. Uh, let me know in the notes below if they do. Uh, I think they are gonna make one where you can just lock this in or you can just go to Amazon and buy something fairly inexpensive. But really love the fact that you do have the option to run off V-mount. And finally, my favorite thing about this is the fact that you can go ahead and screw on the Sony NPF mount here. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic. I do like to put this upside down so that gravity is working. And you just kind of spin this like so. And you definitely want to use the short cord for this one. And go ahead and plug that in. Slap in a Sony NPF battery like so. And once more, Boom goes the dynamite, you are running on a Sony NPF battery, which is awesome. There are so many power options for this thing. Uh, it is really terrific and it is all included, which is fantastic. So really love the fact that they're giving you uh, exactly what you need. You get a power plug, you get a USB, you get a long D-tap uh, for your V-mount battery, and then you get this short cord for the included Sony NPF battery, which is fantastic. So all in all, you are getting so much stuff with this thing. Fantastic, really love the fact that they've included pretty much everything you need. So here we are in full flood. Now we are about five and a half feet away from the wall. This is a very small studio, uh, but as you can see, there is a very nice spread. Now let's go ahead and go into spot mode. And as you can see, this thing spots down very, very well, uh, really, really solid. I don't really see any kinds of hot spots in the center. So all in all, a very awesome workhorse. The controls here are extremely simple. Now, first off, this is a 5600 Kelvin light only, and this goes from 10% all the way up in integers of one, all the way up to 100%, and you do get a nice battery indicator there as well. And on the back here, you have your power, you have your spot flood knob. Now, this does take a considerable amount to uh, turn. Uh, it is a very long turn, so keep that in mind. And you have your power on off button, which you hold to turn on, and then just press again to turn off. And that's it. Those are the controls, very, very simple.
And lastly, here we are. We are at full flood with the barn doors on with a sideways slash. And as you can see, this is a very nice, incredibly dramatic effect, and I absolutely love it. So let's talk about buying this light uh, at like a B&H or off Amazon versus buying it at a store like Adorama. Now, you will see that this light, when you look it up, the S30, it says the Claire S30, the C-L-A-R. Now, not to worry, this is not a knockoff. Uh, basically, uh, Claire is the Adorama in-house brand like Flashpoint. Um, and basically they went to Godox and said, we'll pay you some money to put our own name brand on it. Uh, but th now they can also fix the light in-house. So if this were to break down and you had the Clara version, uh, you could send it right to Adorama. They would fix it right in the States. They don't have to ship it to China and they can also give you a one year warranty. And I did notice that sometimes the S30 is 50 bucks cheaper uh, if you get the in-house brand at uh, Adorama. So definitely keep your eyes open for that. So that's it. That is the only distinction between the two. Uh, and I know this because I actually emailed them and I spoke to Adorama and asked them what the difference was. So if you do want to save a little money, if the Adorama version is 50 bucks less, I know right now at the time of the recording of this video, they are the same price. Uh, but if it does go down 50 bucks and you do want to save some money, I would highly recommend getting the Claire uh, because then you've got the one year warranty and it, it basically if it breaks down, it'll be fixed. It could be fixed faster. So that's it. That's the difference. Now back to the video. So the Godox S30 is a Swiss Army light. Uh, it is very much like a Swiss Army knife. It is fantastic, especially when you combine it with the projector mount, which we will be reviewing, so make sure you're subscribed. But let's talk about some of the cons, and there are very few. Now, some people who don't like fan noise, uh, you can hear the fan, but when I was working, it really wasn't an issue. I really couldn't hear it, um, and it is fairly quiet. Also, this is not something I'm going to stick near a microphone. This is going to be in the background as a hair light or in a corner shooting a gobo with a projection mount behind me. Um, this is something that is not, you're not going to worry about putting it near a microphone. It may ha even have a modifier in front of it. It will be fine, so really not an issue. The other thing I could see being an issue is uh, having to adjust this, although I have had it for about three weeks now and I have not once had to pull out the wrench to tighten it. Uh, I know that this can get annoying to some people, the fact that they're just kind of constantly having to really push this into position, but I think the mount is fantastic. It is very, very smooth and thank God it is not one of those clicky uh, mounts where you can where you can't get it into the position that you want it to. Uh, this thing, you're gonna get it pointing exactly where you want it, which is fantastic. Now swinging around to the back, it does take a lot of turns to get this to spot and flood. Uh, that might be an issue for some. Uh, it does take a while, it does eat up some time, but uh, again, for what it does, I really don't mind it, it's pretty fantastic. The other thing that I will mention is with the uh, little power here. It is not my favorite, kids. Now, uh, when I plug this in, it snaps in okay. Sometimes you get a nice snap, sometimes you don't. But when you press this, depress this little button and pull it, it almost feels like I'm pulling it right off of the metal pins and that this little black thing is not doing much at all. Um, but uh, so that is just something to be aware of. Uh, time will tell. I also feel like the connector is just too small. Um, I really wish this were just a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, because uh, I think if something ends up pulling on it, it may break. And of course, it does take a few seconds to turn on, but again, that is not an issue at all. It turns on pretty quickly. Uh, it's not as bad as like the original Rode Wireless Go. So uh, pretty, pretty solid. And lastly, my least favorite thing is this lock, and that is just a personal thing. Yes, there's a spring in here. It feels good. It feels solid. Again, time will tell. Uh, I just wish that this would like lock in rather than just kind of be on a spring and just settle in. But again, there doesn't really seem to be any problems. It does hold the barn doors very nicely, uh, and it doesn't really seem to be an issue. So there you go. Now, let's talk about the pros of this light. There's, there are so 
many pros to owning something like this. This is a Swiss Army knife workhorse, especially when you add the projector mount, which we will be reviewing, so make sure you're subscribed for that, because that's coming real soon. But let's talk about the yes, the plus, what I love. First off, the spot flood mode is fantastic. You get a fantastic dial on the side. The screen is nice and bright. Uh, the barn doors are fantastic. They are made of metal. They have the clips on the side so you can clip diffusion or gels right to it. I love the fact that you do get these little flaps here, uh, which you can open up or squeeze down so that you can kind of control the light, and they work very well. They also attach super, they're super easy to attach to the light, just drop it right in, and you can turn this freely so you can really adjust your slashes or whatever you're trying to do. It is fantastic. Uh, just works really, really well. I also like this lovely wheel down here, which you can put the Sony NPF battery mount on, or if you get an additional plate, you can mount your V-mount right to it. Now, I think that Godox may make a V-mount plate for this. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me know in the notes below if they are. Uh, but if so, great. If not, you can get uh, something inexpensive off Amazon. Uh, I'll leave, leave a link to one down below. Uh, but really love the fact that you get uh, so many power options. USB, it comes with all the cables, comes with literally everything you need. So all in all, I really love this light. Who is this for? Well, this is for everyone. Narrative films, interviews, commercials, YouTube studio, photography, really anything you need, especially when you combine it with a projector mount. Uh, this thing is fantastic. I highly recommend it. I love this thing. I am probably most likely going to get another one, uh, or maybe I'll get an, an S60. Now, uh, one thing I do want to say is that if you are going to pick up two of these, I highly recommend when it goes on sale, uh, picking up the three kit that comes with a case and, and one projector mount, um, if you're going to do more than one, uh, because it is totally worth it. By the time you're done buying two, two of these, you could have bought the three kit. Uh, so all in all, very, very impressed. This has to be the best Godox light I have ever had in this studio, and I am really excited to start using this thing. It is fantastic. I actually already used the projection mount in a, my Secret Garden video over on my other channel, which you can find right there, um, but really love this thing. Fantastic. I cannot recommend it. This is a tool you should have in your kit uh, if you really want to get into lighting. So that's it. Those are my thoughts, but I want to know yours. So leave your questions and comments in the notes below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to mash that bell button to be notified when we drop a brand new video. And feel free to use the links below as it helps out the channel. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and this is new to me.